Okay, everybody. Um, this is going to be interesting. I'm on my pop spots. This is a practice piece that I'm working on just to show you. It is Fly the Concord with Bashful for the spots. Um, and I am a thrower. So when I knit, I knit um, English style. And I'm just finishing up the section, the garter section, where I add um, the, the uh, bashful so that the bashful can then become the spots. So I'll finish up this row by knitting my last little bashful garter parts. <gasps> my garter parts, oh, that sounds naughty. Um, when I finish them, I bring this is I'm going to cut this piece off so that I bring to the back of the work. I slip my three held stitches back on, cut that off, and I'm done with that for now. So to begin, back on the section where I'm going to add. I'm going to make my spots. The first thing I do usually is kind of give this a tug to tighten these guys back up on the needle because they have a tendency to get kind of loose when they're hanging out for those garter rows. So my first stitch is a knit. And then I have a yarn over and I knit two more. And now I'm ready to begin the um, making my spots. So the first three are knits. And now I'm ready for um, a spot. And because I'm going to put the stitch that I'm going to make the catch with on my left needle, rather than the way Snow is with her technique, is on using her right needle, if I do it this this stitch has a tendency to get real stretched out and then when it gets stretched out it makes the instead of spots you get pop squares which I didn't want so I'm gonna ladder these guys down and I put my thumb on this last little stitch the purple one that I'm gonna catch finish getting those guys now I need to put my left needle through that stitch and all of these ladders that I've created stay on my left needle. So now I'm just going to go in through here, knit it, bring it out, and just leave those guys just as they are. Now that makes the first one, the DLK, the um, drop ladder knit. Then I would knit my three stitches, one, two, three, and then do it again. I'm going to drop this guy off, ladder him down. Come on, you guys, get off the bus. Um, one more guy. Oh, I hate this when they get caught. Boo-boo, boo-boo. He comes off of there. Oh, come on. There you go. Got him. He comes out of there. I'm going to catch that little stitch, being careful not to stretch him. Get my left needle poked through there. And all these pink guys are going on top. I'm going to knit him and bring him back through. And don't worry about how these guys line up. Now the next one we'll do one that has the yarn over in it. So that goes one, two, three. Drop the next guy off, ladder him down. Catch that stitch in my left needle. Knit him through, bring him out. Don't take anybody off the needle. A yarn over and he goes back down, right back into where he was before knit him, and now I've created three stitches on there, and off they go. And again, that would be knit three.
Drop the next guy, ladder them down. Hold on to that little purple guy. Stick the needle through there. Knit it, bring it out, don't take it off. Yarn over and back down in the hole he goes. Knit him again. And then he comes off. I've created my three stitches. Then when I'm doing my row coming back um, after this row is completed, I usually give these guys a jiggle just to kind of make sure they are all lined up and equally distributed. And then that's what makes my spots pop out. And when you're all done, you put your crown on because you are the queen. Okay, bye. How do I stop this?